Please be seated. Christmas is coming. Do you know how I know? Because the signs are everywhere. I went into the, uh, the pharmacy, the drugstore the other day. There's all this Christmas stuff there. I went to Starbucks and I saw red cups. More importantly, all over the news and the internet and everywhere, they're all the annual complaint where you see people saying, I can't stand these people saying happy holidays. I'm going to say Merry Christmas. It is an annual thing. As soon as you see somebody complaining about it, you know that Christmas is coming. That's one sort of a sign. More serious signs, though, are the, the constant flow of violence that we see. We just mentioned earlier uh, the, the, the attacks in Paris. But that's just one of many, a long succession of them. And along with these attacks, you get people saying, this is a sign of the end. The end of civilization, the end of humanity, the end of the world, the end of the age. People want to see signs in these things, and it's not new. They have been doing that throughout history. When something horrendous happens, people want to have a divine understanding of it. They see it as a sign. And the disciples were no different. When Jesus was talking to them, and they say, oh, look at this temple, and he says, there'll be the day coming when not a single stone will be left on the other. This is basically like seeing the end of the world for them. At least it has that kind of moment. And they say, well, what's the sign for this? And Jesus says, well, you're not going to get a sign. And you don't need a sign. He said, if you're really keen on signs, look for the signs of God's presence. They're all around you. Look for the signs of God's activity in the world. Don't look at a building built by human hands. Look up at the sky and the stars. Look at the rivers and the waters, how they bring life. Look at the fields from which we gain our food. There's God. If you want to see where God is, if you want a sign, look around you. Look in this place where we're gathered to worship where we gather, whether it's the temple or this church, to pray to God, not only for those we love, but those who, are, who we do not love or cannot love and who do not love us, those who harm us. In those days, it was the Romans who oppressed them. Today, we talk about terrorists, whether they may be Muslim terrorists or more likely in our country, white supremacist terrorists who, who claim Christianity as their faith. It doesn't matter. We pray for them. And that is a sign of God's presence. If you want a sign, look at people of goodwill who reach out to serve those in need, even when it sometimes puts themselves in danger. That is a sign of God's presence. If you want a sign, Jesus may have said to them, Look at me, Emmanuel, God with you. And then do what you do with signs. Follow me. There are, of course, signs of evil and of decay all about us. Always has been, always will. But there are greater signs. The signs that God is with us, that God is active, that God is doing a new and great thing. Those signs have always been there, and they will be with us always. The evil, that is the background in which we are to do God's work. That is the canvas on which we are to paint God's masterpiece, as it were. And it is made up of those signs, which are you and me, the rivers, the sky, the fields, the signs 
are everywhere, that God is here among us. It is for us to follow them. Amen.